LeVar Ball is back on the menu, boys. Remember the infamous basketball father who just shipped his youngest two sons out to the extremely developed country of Lithuania that is really excellent at basketball and probably much better than anywhere else in the world? Oh, and the food is really great there, too, and the women are super hot. But as an outsider, I would never dream to follow through on any balls-deep action with them out of reverence for the local sophisticated Lithuanian men who are great at basketball. Just kidding, of course. I'm going to leave nothing but the nuts hanging out as usual. So anyways, LeVar Ball announced that he is going to start a league for high school graduates as an alternative to playing in college. The league will be sponsored by Big Baller Brand, of course, the company that sells merch and wretched shoes that are extremely overpriced for a developing rookie and a couple of kids. He says that the players will be paid on a scale of $3,000 to $10,000 per month depending on their rank. His plans for this junior basketball league is to have 80 players on 10 teams in a few major cities in the US. At this point, he doesn't have any venues or players, not even LiAngelo and LaMelo, as they are under contract in the great developed country of basketball excellence where the food is good and they aren't going to play for a team whose manager sells meat out of the trunk of his car. But he has a logo, though, and it's of his son, Lonzo, going for a dunk, something he rarely does in the NBA games, but who cares about that little detail? When questioned about the logo, he said, we don't need a logo of a guy dribbling, making reference to the NBA logo image after the great Jerry West. You know, LeVar, that's probably the most offensive thing I've ever heard you say. You keep Jerry West's name out of your mouth, you disrespectful f Aside from LeVar Ball, the big baller brand and the circus that surrounds all of that stuff, I'm all for some kind of post high school pre-NBA league. The NCAA makes so much money off the college players, it's ridiculous. For those who say college athletes get a free education or part of one, you must realize the colleges make billions of dollars off those athletes. It's not a fair deal in any way when you consider the money involved. It's a racket. We're talking about a system where even D1 coaches are making millions of dollars a year. I'm not sure LeVar's proposed system is the best way to go, and I'm very skeptical of him being in control of anything. But in general, I think it's a good idea. Another idea might be that the colleges should start paying their athletes above the table, because you know they've been paying them below the board for decades now. Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below.